Uh, okay, so the trade happens. Demetrius Johnson goes to uh, to one. You're now at UFC. What is that first meeting with Dana like? You guys obviously had a somewhat tumultuous relationship. We never had a first meeting. You didn't? No. Um, no, I talked to. So, yeah, I mean, I was on the phone a few different times. Um, and then the guy I ended up talking to a lot was Hunter Campbell. Oh, Hunter um, Campbell, yes. Yep, he's great. Um, and then I, yeah, I, so I flew to Vegas because I want to do some stuff. I'm trying to think, I don't think Dana was even there the first time I went, maybe in December. Um, yeah, so I, t I talk about this in the book and it's funny because, uh, the book was started being written in 2020. And then the only time I ever had full conversations with Dana was during the Jake Paul thing. Um, because he hates Jake Paul. <laughs> So that was, <laughs> yes, that was he it. does. He does. That was the only time we had conversations. And um, so never even when I was in UFC, I mean, it was a text here, text there maybe, but not like K hey, call and talk for Tim, nothing. Never like that. Oh my God. And to, well, to me, it was whatever. To me, I don't give a shit. I'm here to fight. I'm here. I said, there's, I said, there's one thing I wanted to do mm -hmm. and I wanted to try to prove I was the best in the world. I'm not here to be friends with Dana. I'm not here to do it. I'm here to fight. And that was it. You know? So it was kind of like, I, I don't care whatever, you know? Yeah. I mean, that just seems like such a, like, a, like, mental f Like, does my boss even want me here? Like, what's this relationship yeah. if you guys hadn't really talked? Like, I know obviously you guys would, you know, maybe be ships passing in the night at, like, press conferences and whatnot. But, like, yeah. did that ever get in your head? Or you were just there to do what you needed to do? You didn't give a shit about the business side. Yeah, that was it. I, I did not care. Just, just yeah. wanted to go do what I wanted to do. And I knew... Uh, you know, I finally had the opportunity to do it after all those years. And so I wasn't going to worry about, you know, being besties with Dana. Sure. I, you know, I think we had maybe a few like 30 second, one minute conversations, a few text messages and that was it. But there was nothing extended until, like I said, after the book was being written, uh, you know, like April of 2021, that'd probably be about it. Um, what about just being a polarizing character within the MMA world? How much do you think that helps someone throughout their career in so terms much. of like, so, I mean, yeah. 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 If someone doesn't have that, like, let's talk a little shit. Let's make, you got to make people care one way or the other. You have people feeling yeah. indifferent. That's when, I mean, no one wants to see that. We're still here entertaining people, right? Yeah. No, you, you know, I mean, you, you know, you, you know, this business. Um, yeah. You have to be entertaining. You have to be, uh, someone that people care about. And I think, you know, the best way you can do that is to be you. Um, yeah. and, and right. And which is like the of, hardest advice to give to someone. Right. Cause they're like, I don't know yeah. what that means if it's not working. Yes. No, just be unapologetically you. But there's so many people who think, Oh, I'm on this stage. I have to act this way now. Right. And then, they, then a lot of them end up acting like the exact same, you know? And then, so when it's someone who just is willing to, you know, be themselves and act, act like, you know, like me, then it kind of sticks out, you know? And then there's some people like, honestly, like Conor McGregor, like, I don't know, I would just venture to guess that's how he is in everyday life. He probably right. gives his friends shit and, and that's normal for him. I mean, I know I had so many college teammates who would just like, you know, tease each other and be, they would be totally hilarious. And then they get in front of a camera and, you're, and, they're, and they're lame. And you're yeah. like, wait, wait, no, no, you're hilarious. Like, why'd you stop being <laughs> hilarious? You know, just like be funny. And same thing with guys in the gym. It's like, you see guys in the gym, and they're funny and they're charismatic and they get in front of a camera and then all of a sudden they, they think they'd be all serious or something different. So yeah, I think, I think you gotta make people care. Um, and you know, that, that was a big reason why I got so popular so fast. And the, you know, the funny thing for me though, is, um, I would, I felt like I was the same person everywhere else. Um, and you know, but it took me like nine years to become, and then all of a sudden my popularity went like this, you know, like right. straight up. You think the timing of everything, the way that it worked out for you throughout your career to end up at UFC when you did, is that the way that you would have written it or would you have gone earlier? Oh, yeah, I would have gone way earlier because obviously I would have been, you know, I, I think I would have done significantly better by the time I was in the UFC. My my, my hip was shot. I, I just, yeah, I was at the end of my rope. Um, yeah. So I wish it would have been in 2013 when I ended my Bellator contract. Um, I would have went right over and then, yeah, I think, I think it would have been more competitive. And then I would also, I would have got to retire young, like I wanted to, which, you know, <laughs> I still didn't hang on that long. I, I ended up retiring at 35. Um, uh, but I probably would have liked doing it a few years earlier. Would you have still needed that hip replacement? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Um, what yeah, I like? think, 
Uh, it was, I mean, it's awesome. Cause I feel so much better. I wish I would now. I mean, if I could have like told my, uh, self what it would have felt like, I would have done it the second I retired from one championship, I would have done it. Yeah. Right. So I would have retired and done it right away. Um, but when I realized, like, I, I didn't even realize till after the surgery, I didn't realize all the problems it was causing. You know, it was one of those things where I woke up after, you know, so you go in the surgery at like 7 a.m., you know, and then uh, you're under, right? And then you wake up at noon or whatever the hell you, you know, I don't recall what time it was. Um, and, you know, for one of the things, it was like my other side of my back. So my, I got my left hip done, and I always knew all the left hip, left back problems were my hip. Um, but then you wake up and my right back doesn't hurt. I'm like, wait, why does my back hurt over that's woke? It's hurt every single morning for the last five years, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. why doesn't it hurt? And you're like, oh, I'm on pain pills. Maybe that's it. And then all of a sudden, never hurts. And then all of a sudden, never hurts again, ever. And you're like, God. whoa. Do you have like, to, do you have to like, replace the hip replacement at a certain point or are you good for a while? So my doctor said he actually just retired, but he said he'd been doing them since 2004. This is 2020 when I got it done. He said he'd never replaced any of them yet. Zero. Wow. So, yeah. Great. So, I got the Birmingham hip. It was It's a newer procedure. Um, is that just done in Birmingham, you mean? I actually think it was. I think it was Birmingham, England that it was. Oh. I, I think that's where it came. I think that's where the name comes from. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were like in Alabama getting it. No, done. no. I went, I went to Cleveland. <laughs> but oh, the guy okay. retired, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So, most most people have the hip. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's like common in wrestlers, but it's relatively common because i think it does put you know excess stress but a lot of it is from the wearing of the cartilage but i had some bone spurs and i had labrum tear I, yeah kind of wow. a handful of things going on well there. hey welcome back to feeling better oh man it's, it's so awesome. like i said if, if i would have known what the results would have been i, I definitely would have done it earlier and so that's why when I, when I talked to other wrestlers who were in pain and they're like oh i'm thinking about getting it done because i felt the same way like oh this isn't that terrible i can just you know i'll be fine and uh, it's crazy how you guys yeah. just live like that because you just get used yeah. to the pain, right? It just it yeah, is what it is. And it. It's part of your day. Yes, it's, it's the new normal. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Know, Anyways, right? you and my husband are <laughs> best friends. I'll have him call you up and you guys can have a there little uh, chit chat about it Seriously. all. OK, let's talk Triller. What was it like when this opportunity came up? You mentioned huh. Jake Paul earlier, um, but when this opportunity came up and you saw everything that was going on with Triller for you to get in there and have a boxing match. Uh, well, I don't, I don't think Triller had anything to do with it in the beginning. It was just, so it was a tweet. I, I tweeted a couple of times, like I do many times. I just, I enjoy Twitter. I answer <laughs> back and forth on there. And then yeah. someone called me the next week and they're like, oh, are you really serious? Would you really fight him? And I'm like, uh, like, I, I was just tweeting at the time, but yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> you know, um, uh, I haven't worked out since I had my hip done, but, uh, yeah, I'll fight him. Um, and then, yeah, then it, it, it got serious uh and i committed to it and now unfortunately we know he's a lot better boxer than everyone thought he was it's really funny because there's a lot of people who they really 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 don't want to give him any credit and listen i don't i have i'm kind of indifferent to him but i definitely like don't like like the guy it would be more like a negative indifferent than a positive indifferent okay. but like i don't know it seems like he's actually pretty good um way better than i thought he was gonna be i hope he was gonna, i hope he sucked and i was gonna beat him up i mean that was my plan <laughs> Uh, what do you think about what he's done for the sport of boxing? I don't think he's really done anything. That's, no, no. It's like um, even well, just I mean, in terms of like paydays, even. No, nothing. Wow. You know. Okay. Yeah. So I think. Um, I mean, I don't think that just judging. I, I this I judge things by my my Twitter timeline, and just okay. based on how many people were scary. talking about it. Uh, no, I feel like it's a good gauge. It's a good okay. informal gauge of of in my world, right? Because my Twitter timeline is based on my world: wrestling, mixed martial arts, some disc golf, like things that I'm interested in. Um, but so I have a pretty good gauge of it. If it's a huge UFC, like uh, UFC, what was it, 280? The one that was a couple weeks ago, Peter Yan, yeah, uh, Sugar Sean. Like my timeline was going nuts over that. You know, there was just like so many tweets and people talking about it. And then you know, the Jake Paul fight didn't actually seem even that that popular not that people are talking about it um yeah not as much as they have in the past that's yeah. for sure so i think i think this stick might be getting old and you know i think obviously he's really popular and there were a lot of people who want to see him box and they want to see if he's actually tough or he actually fight and i i think he established at least he has a baseline of competency and he's kind of tough mm -hmm. um so now i think people are like eh, okay whatever and right. as, when he's gone like is it going to increase the overall um, popularity of boxing and I think I don't know that's kind of unlikely right people are going to go back to watching and how much they did they're not going to like 
I think there's very few people who would discover boxing because of Jake Paul and be like, oh, wait, there's this thing called boxing? I never knew that existed. And now because of that, I really like it. Right. Like, I think the number of those people is really small.